once you've created all of the tool paths and you're happy with how everything looks, you can then create the G code for the machines. To do that, um, the first thing you want to do is make sure that all the operations have been generated. If you look at these little X's, um, that means that we've changed something and we have to regenerate those operations. And so I'm generating the operations. Everything is good there. Now I can just select the setup that I want to um, process and I click the post process button. And this brings up a little window that allows me um, to choose which post processor I want to use. Basically a post processor is some code that writes the G code for a specific machine. And it is important that you choose the correct post processor for the particular machine that you're using. And so um, we have several different machines um, in the shop. One of them is a Tormach um, milling machine. And so we would just choose, if we're machining it on that, we'd choose the Tormach Path Pilot. And then you can um, give your program a name. Um, it defaults at um, 1001, and we can name it when we actually go to save it. And then we go post. And then we can save that file wherever we would like. And so um, we typically just put it in a USB drive and save the file. For right now, I'll just save it on the desktop and I'll just save it as test part and go save. And what that will do is just save that G code on the desktop as test part. And it does open up that G code as well so you can kind of see it. And you can edit the G code if you would like. Um, once you have it saved on the USB drive, then you can take it to the milling machine and load it onto the control software in preparation for machining.